it's Twitter drama. It's blown way out of proportion, obviously. And people are making all sorts of insane accusations about me. But I'm used to this. I legitimately believe that most of the people don't actually give a shit about this. And they just wanted to find a way to attack me. I'll be charitable to them, despite the fact that that charitability will never be given to me. It all starts with this suspicious Twitter account right here. Let me pull it up. The Bell from Blair account that was made in December 2022. And the first post ever, it was a clip from the, the stream that I did the other day. New burner account, first post, literally about me, a bunch of out of context clips from the stream. It doesn't even have a banner. The first account that this burner account followed was Jai, someone who, is, who has quite a reputation of engaging in harassment campaigns. It started off with this clip. So let's take a look. Hold on, hold on. Retard break. I need a retard break. Give me a retard break for like two, two fucking minutes. Give me a retard break. Okay? I can't keep listening to fucking retards. It's okay, so I'm getting virtue signaled at about this clip. And people are saying that I can't say retard. But I feel like those people are incredibly ableist against the retarded community. Like, for instance, one in chat if you are a retard. I just want to do a head count of all the retards that are currently in chat. See, like, look, like, look at how many retards are in this chat. And you're trying to tell me that I can't say retard? I can't address my community? That's fucked up. I'm a retard and I'm proud. I'm autistic. I have ADHD. I can say these words. I'm also going to call people I don't like retards. I don't care. Like, I went over this um, on stream before, right? where the same people who are saying that retard is an ableist slur and you can't say retard, they're saying stupid, which is also ableist and has a historically, a historically negative connotation, as well as dumb, as well as lame, as well as a whole cavalcade of words that have an ableist connotation. So it's fucking virtue signaling. Like either you're going to restrict all of these words from your vocabulary. You're not going to call anyone an idiot. You're not going to call anyone stupid. You're not going to call anyone lame. Or you can just stop being a woke scold. You can say retard. It's fine. I actually am kind of happy about this whole situation. Like I lost like 10,000 followers, but all of those people are people who are incredibly easy to manipulate. They're the woke school types of people. They weren't actually part of this community. And by them fucking off, I can be more sincere. So people are all mad about this because obviously when we're in this historical period where trans people are the target of more systemic discrimination than ever before in history, when there are so many anti-trans bills, when trans people are getting murdered in the streets, obviously the number one issue is a trans live streamer saying retard. The priorities are so fucking high. You know, the priorities they have, incredible. Here's the thing that's getting me like fucking dragged through the mud, even more so. This is the part that people are mad at and the part that people are misinterpreting. Pick crew? No, just use a random one. But the more diverse, the better. Like make it like, a black butch lesbian with like, I, I, I don't know. It, yeah, so they're interpreting me saying make a pick crew a black butch lesbian as me saying go out and harass black people on Twitter, which I never said. Later in the stream, I explicitly told people do not harass people. I did not say use blackface. Those are not words that fucking came out of my mouth, but... I expect that people are going to take me in bad faith. Like literally later in the stream, I even walk this back when people explained to me what digital blackface was. That's not something I understood. I, I still have the, the pit crew account right here. And it's mostly just my fans shit posting at each other. Like that was all it was. It was actually pretty harmless. But people, you know, this is what people do to streamers, right? They, they grab a clip. They run the clip out of context. They make up a whole bunch of extra context for the clip. People don't actually want to investigate, you know. They'll grab 14 seconds 
and they'll grab 48 seconds of a stream that was longer than four hours and they'll make up all the rest of the context and that's all they need. A lot of people already had this preconceived notion about me and they really just wanted to justify what they already believed about me. And this is the evidence that they got. Yeah, they do this shit because it makes them feel powerful. They can't stop the genocide of trans people. They don't go after right-wingers. They don't go after anyone actually hurting their own community. So they go after people in their own community. You can say it was only a suggestion, but you all know the end result of this will be that black LGBT people on Twitter will be viewed with suspicion. You know, what's actually funny about this. This is a burner account. This is a pit crew account. This is the same shit. It's literally the same shit that they're trying to get mad at me for. Like, come the fuck on. Also, how in the fuck was I supposed to know that it was Black History Month? And why does that change this? They're literally adding additional context and pretending that I knew this context in order to make me sound worse. It's an implication that I was intentionally being racist on Black History Month. I think Keppel's urging her followers to race fake is a bad idea. I walked this back. Okay, because I walked it back, I'm going to just like ignore all of the thing, all of the accusations here because it's like that this was walked back. This is something that obviously wasn't part of a 50 second clip. My opinion, the most crazy part is that out of the whole four hour videos, their main problem with the video was you and they grabbed a less than two minutes of footage, painted you in the most bad way, bad faith way possible instead of grabbing footage of the conservatives literally saying the, some of the most transphobic stuff possible, but they only get clicks if Keppels is in the tweet. No, that's it. That's absolutely it. Like even fucking Thought Slime decided to come at me for this. Like, dude, this is someone who, without evidence, just accuses people of running sex cults. Absolutely no respect. Just the implicit belief that being part of a diverse group is a magic spell that turns off the critical thought of others. How dare they get the benefit of the doubt when it belongs to me? What the fuck is this even about? One of the things that I fucking can't stand about all of the tender queers and all of the woke scolds really is just like, they make up accusations. Like, it's like they think that they know what your motivations are. But at the same time, if I try to talk to them, they treat having a discussion like I'm threatening to assault them. You know what I mean? They don't really leave any room for actually open dialogue or discussion. But at the same time, there's these constant calls for accountability. But how can you be accountable if there's no open dialogue? And furthermore, how do you be accountable when there's no mechanisms for accountability. As a neurodivergent person, I genuinely hate people saying you can't say the R slur, you're disabled as well. Yes, I am. I love getting compared to Kiwi Farms because it just tells me like, if you're willing to compare me to the people who literally tried to take my life, who the people who swatted me, the people who made me flee my home, you're basically an abuser. That's absolutely crazy. They're literally fucking comparing shit posting with some pit crew accounts to actually suicide baiting people it's unhinged behavior could you imagine like going up to a sexual assault survivor and being like oh yeah well why isn't your rapist in prison huh that's fucking so weird and my partner and i are both autistic we call each other retard a lot jokingly we're also gay and trans call each other faggot yeah i mean i do that too i think it's okay to do it and i feel like it's really weird that people are People are getting mad about how I'm behaving on my own stream when they don't have to engage with the content. Rags about shutting down Kiwi Farms uses a Kiwi Farms tactic. Like, as I was saying before, right? Like, it's not a Kiwi Farms tactic if the accounts are shitposting at each other. Like, trust me, I don't, I don't need to do a psyop on the queer community. The queer community does psyops on itself every single day. It, it doesn't even like take long to like go on the pit crew account and see the kind of shit posting we were engaging in. It was literally just fans of the stream making accounts that say shit like this. We need to do something to people like Keffels and Vosh. They constantly use slurs and avalist terms in a way that ends up being very uncomfortable for the minorities they claim to defend. And then like people responding to them and asking them to use tone indicators. Oh yeah, and a lot of furry porn too. That's true. We were having fun making fake Twitter discourse at each other on the Keffel stream, and now I'm being accused of digital blackface and attacking some woman named Jai. What the fuck? It's fucking infuriating. I'm terrified the government will forcefully detransition me in two years and everyone is too busy being mad at you. 
Oh, yeah, no, no. I have absolutely no faith in the queer community anymore. They do not know how to have priorities. And the things that they get mad at are incredibly fucking stupid. They're going to get marched into concentration camps while they're doing discourse about bi lesbians. I swear to fucking God. The left is absolutely its own worst enemy. I'm black, trans, and disabled. I'm scared of what's happening in the US right now. I don't even engage in Twitter discourse. There's more important things to focus on, like what Aaron and Alejandro report on. DeSantis might run in 2024. We need to advocate harder for rights. We don't have time for this. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. This weird unhinged obsession with me is really unhealthy and takes away from serious issues that are affecting the community. And they're pretending like it's a legitimate thing to get mad at. But Maya and I had a back and forth. She said, we could start here. Talk about your pattern of platforming random right-wingers who don't need a platform. This is incredibly exhausting. This isn't how platforming works. Going into a Twitter space is not platforming. If I did not push back against the people in that Twitter space, then they would have had free reign to say anything they wanted. What Maya is doing here is saying we should cede ground to the far right. We should huddle up and get into our little echo chambers where we are constantly being ass padded by progressives. Let's not actually face the people who want to take away our rights. Like, I believe in a diversity of tactics, obviously, but there's an entire demographic of people on the left who say shit like, the only way you can fight fascism is to kill fascists. And it's like, I see you and I know enough about you already to know that you aren't going to kill a fascist. You look like you're too anxious to order a pizza on the phone. There is no fucking way you are going to pick up a gun and kill a fascist. Please stop LARPing. But that was what I said. I said that it wasn't platforming, that if I wasn't there, there could have been no pushback. I was talking specifically about things mentioned in the thread here, such as your repeated use of uh, the retard slur and giving people such as Keemstar a platform to pretend to be redeeming themselves. But no, in that situation, Keemstar platformed me. He has a massive audience and he brought his audience to me onto his stream where i pushed back against his anti-semitism his racism and like what he did to etika no one knew yeah no one knew who keemstar was before me that's so true did she address saying slurs yet yes i addressed saying retard and once again one in chat if you are a retard like i'm literally not going to stop you can block me on twitter and huddle yourself off in a tender queer echo chamber if you so please However, I think that if you do that, you aren't really a good activist. You're not good for the left. You're not willing to actually step outside of your comfort zone. You will never be able to relate to anyone who doesn't already agree with you. You'll never be able to bring other people over. Yeah, the tone policing um, in queer spaces is toxic as fuck. Why did I retweet the uh, Logan Paul Matrix post? Because I was trolling and it was very funny. I was debating that whether I should just like tweet it out or retweet it. Do you think people don't know you're disabled or do they just not care? I've seen a lot of people saying I'm not. I am. I'm neurodivergent. I both have mental health issues. I have physical health issues. I struggled a lot to even get to where I am in my life, but they don't care. Most of the people do not actually give a single shit about this. I don't even know if they believe uh, what they're mad at as much as they see it as an easy way to take swipes. And also, a lot of the people who are like so-called disability rights advocates, they actually do not give a single shit about anyone other than themselves. Like 100%. I see this time and time again. The people who are like super into disability rights advocacy, they only care about them and what personally affects them. And they do not really even consider other people who are disabled, how they interpret things, how they go about living their lives. It's just virtue signaling. I love to trend harder than Vosh and Matt Pat. So true. I think there's only one valid criticism people have of you today, but they're couching it in sanity. I told people this on yesterday's stream, but just in case I'm not clear, obviously do not make a pit crew burner with a black pit crew and start infiltrating black communities on Twitter. I never asked anyone to do that, but that's what the implication became. Don't do that. But people were already incredibly, incredibly quick to jump on this idea that that's what I do or that's what I believe in. 
uh, where I've always stood against racism. A huge part of me bringing Keemstar on the stream was pushing back against racism. The idea that I am somehow like an incredibly racist person is based on very little. And it's always made by people who have never talked to me. You don't know if you covered it. What about the Italian thing? Oh God, what Italian thing? They don't get that I'm joking with the Italian X thing. Are you serious? They think I'm, th wait, they think you're serious that being Italian means you can, oh my God, there's such fucking re, oh my God. Really? Really? Bro, come on. How do you even address that? Um, okay, so person who has never chatted before. I get where you're coming from, but this drama has consumed your entire content output as of late. It used to give me hope, and now it feels like this community is consumed by despair. Having said that, fuck the people attacking you for your bullshit and pulling abusive gaslighting tactics. I mean, I didn't want this to happen. I, I did not provoke this situation. Um, the entire reason for the jokes with the pit crews was because they started calling Aaron Reed a Nazi for being on a Twitter space, and I wanted to redirect attention to me so Aaron could continue doing her work, and it worked. I successfully redirected all the attention onto me. Tell us that the only time these safe space tender queers can muster active hostile vitriol is against leftists. Oh yeah, no, no, they can't do this against the right because I think they know there would be there would be more pushback, and they can't handle that. They're only going to attack people in their own community. But don't worry, this is going to blow over really soon. Uh, like Vosh said, once they get to a point where they realize that they do not control me and they can't rein in my behavior, they're going to eventually just uh, start telling me to kill myself and I won't trend every time I say anything because I, I don't represent them. I don't. They're not part of my community. But anyway, with the Maya stuff, I decided to deal with it by just um, bringing up the fact that Maya wanted to call me out on platforming when Maya went on to the Red Planet podcast that's hosted by Bad Bunny. It's like, you want to talk about platforming, right? It's like you're going on to the platform of someone who just like drops the N-word constantly in their Discord, drops, says tranny constantly, says faggot constantly. This is not a, this isn't a trans person, not a neurodivergent person. This is just like a white woman. Like a cishet white woman. Yeah, Bad Bunny is redeemed because she has friends in these communities. And now she's trying to call me out so she can like maintain her position as an ex-neo-Nazi. Even though I have not done anything even one-tenth as bad as she has ever done. But yeah, no, the hypocrisy there is just like really silly to me. Like if you're going to say like you're against platforming, maybe you should actually look into the platforms you're going on to. Given recent developments, I will no longer be posting any Keffels related anything. Thanks for the fun times. You're falling for this? She literally encouraged digital blackface. What do you mean? Oh, fuck off. I agree that was not a great choice, but it wasn't meant to be malicious. I think the rest is sort of being blown out of context. Context doesn't matter here. Regard oh, shut the, f shut the fuck up. See, this is what I mean, right? If you want me to be accountable... How the fuck does context not matter? It's insane. I'll often see a bullshit accusation and then Keffels will respond to it by just being a mean person, you know? It's like I start from a position of being on her side, then she just acts like a jerk and it's really upsetting because that's not the impression she used to give. Hi, Leon. Look, I know that empathy is a rare commodity in today's world, but try and put yourself in my shoes. I'm trending right now. There are 28,500 tweets about me and most of them are negative. Some of them are telling, on a, like, actually telling me to kill myself. A lot of them are calling me the scum of the earth. And when there are thousands of people saying that you're a worthless piece of shit and you need to go away or die, how are you going to handle that, right? Because they don't want accountability. They want you to be socially ostracized. They want you to go away or kill yourself. That's not, there's no such thing as accountability on the internet. We're not part of the same organization. We never agreed on any ways to keep each other accountable. Like it's literally just mob justice, right? What's, wait, what's this about? Today I learned that Keffels actually defended Zerkalo. No, I didn't. Zerkalo's a pedophile and a zoophile. There was a period of time during the drop kiwi farm stuff that Zerkalo came on my stream and I didn't know who Zerkalo was. The situation with that was that People were trying to tell me Zerkalo was a zoophile. I said that I didn't believe it off the bat because this information was coming from Kiwi Farms users. 
And then it turns out it was true. And then I just blocked Sir Callow on all platforms. That was kind of the start and the end of it. Hey, Keffels, I'm tagging you right now because you tried to blow this off on stream. You sent a ton of followers. No, those followers weren't. I, I saw that. Like, OK, how are we defining harassment? I need to know because like I feel like just interacting is not harassment. Then again, I've I've been told that I committed violence against people by quote tweeting them. So I also just have like little to no understanding of like what people mean when they say things like harassment or violence sometimes. If you're wondering how Keffels is responding to the call out of her racism and call for mass digital blackface, going from, hey guys, make a pick crew and ship post at each other to mass digital blackface is such a wild stretch. But yeah, obviously, like, this is not legit. This is me making fun of tender queers again. The it's not my job to educate you. Please read this card. Does that sound like something I would like? You think you think this is something that I would sincerely say? It's no jokes allowed, right? No jokes. Nopers, no jokes. Nopers, no jokes. Nopers, no jokes. Nopers, no jokes. The stream has me on the verge of tears. Everything feels so hopeless. I wish the queer community didn't act like crabs in a bucket. This is hopeful for me. Like, yes. Am I being dragged? Absolutely. But I actually am very hopeful about this situation because now that a lot of the people decided that they don't like me, they're not going to engage, which means that the community that we have built and that we're continuing to build can thrive. They're not going to continually go after me over the stupidest tender queer shit imaginable. And we have the ability to actually build something. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you want to participate in the chat and the videos while they're live, you can do so by making an account at keffels.gg. Also, my videos on this channel regularly get demonetized, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com keffels, and I appreciate all of your ongoing support. I'll see you all in the next video.